Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a quadratic in the standard form and they want us to determine without graphing if this quadratic has a minimum or a maximum. And it's a very simple question. You're gonna look to what we call this A. And in this case, we notice is negative two we have an A that is less than zero, that means it's open downward, right? It's open like this, which means this guy here is a maximum. So whenever you have an A that is negative, you have a maximum. Now we can go to point B, which says find the minimum or the maximum. Find the maximum, obviously, value and determine where that occurs. So that means I'm gonna take this guy first, x equals negative b over 2a, and I'm gonna plug the information in, b is 12, and a, I just mentioned 30 seconds ago, is negative two. So we end up here with negative 12 over negative four, and that'll be positive three. That is the x, value of the vertex that is this part of the problem where it happens how do we find that maximum we're going to take the last part here y equals f of 3 and we have here what uh, negative 2 times 3 squared plus 12 times 3 minus 5. And let's simplify this expression. 3 squared is 9 times negative 2, that will be negative 18. This we have 12 plus 3, that is 36, and minus 5. So negative 18 plus 36 is positive 18, minus 5, positive 13. So now we have the vertex of this quadratic, 33 and 13. Very important because that will answer to, like I said, to this point B and not only to point B. The maximum value you, the maximum value is 13 at x equals 3. And now we're going to go to the last part of the problem, part C, which we are asked to find the domain and the range. Whenever you have a quadratic, the domain is is any real number, which we write it in this format. And the range, now the range. Remember, again, let's take a look to this picture a little bit. The largest value of y is 13. So that means the range is negative infinity, 13. Close with a bracket. 13 is part of the range. And that's it. But let's take a look a little bit to the picture. This is the picture I did it at the end. And you notice all the feature I mentioned about. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.